In this video, we're gonna take a quick look at the Bellroy Note Sleeve Wallet. So here we have it here, we'll open it up, and there we go. We have one card sleeve on the top left here. We have two on this side, one here, and then one at the back. They don't typically get in the way of one another, and the good thing here is that they're not built up on each other, so it still manages to keep a relatively slim form factor. Then, under this little pull tab here, we have where you can stash a load of cards. So we'll pull that open there, and you can see, I think we've got four in there at the moment, and then just pop it back in. So these three here are for your kind of go-to everyday cards, and this one you can stash a load into. Then, if we turn to the top here, you can see inside, now you can fit full length dollar bills and also British notes as well. It'll fit pretty much almost all bills, a full billfold wallet there. However, it is relatively tight for the dollars, so we actually end up folding ours in half and just having it and using one side. And then actually, we've also used this one to hold cards as well before when if for some reason we need to take a load out with us but we'll just pop that back in there for now um, and then we'll show you that we've got the pounds here and the dollars we'll pop them in there so there we go and then we have here a little coin sleeve at the back which is using this flap at the moment I think there's some in there we have some American quarters we'll pop that back in there it's good for a few coins, not too many, um, because you they will show up here on the outside, but good for a few if you're caught in a pinch. And then the final one, here we have a business card holder here, which we've got some in at the moment. You see, just pull that out a little bit, pop it back in, and that can hold um, normal cards as well, but it is referred to as a business card holder, so it's a nice little Hideaway pocket there, and there we go. That is the Belroy Note Sleeve. For the four of you, head over to packhacker.com.